What's up, my dogs? It's the best day of the week, Friday, of course, and you're tuned in to Hot Dog Network. Also, we're sorry that we don't have any graphics today. Technology is not on our side. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Frankfurt, and happy Friday. TGIF. For lunch today, lines one and two will have cheeseburger and sausage, egg and cheese biscuits. Line three will have soup and salad bar. Line four will be closed. Line five will have pizza wedge. Today's birthdays go out to Joseph Long, Maria Santillan, uh, Rodolfo Valvadinos, and a staff happy birthday to Jim Seward. Also, a happy belated birthday to Miss Boozer. We're sorry we missed you yesterday. Now to weather with Mo Perry. Today we'll go down with clear skies, with clouds coming in this evening, and a high low of 52 and 42, despite the current temperature being 38. It'll be 42 after sundown, not now. Anyway, back to the studio. Meet our newest hot dog. Everly K. Robbins was born yesterday at 11.54 p.m. and is 6 pounds, 2 ounces, and 19 and half inches long. On that note, Mr. Robbins' second period class needs to meet in Mr. Butler's room 105. Here's the Glad You Are Here Award. Okay. Alexa, you're super great. You're really good at Spanish and you're on Academic Super Bowl. Yeah. Therefore, I am glad you are here. Oh. Congratulations, have some cookies. Oh, thank you. Un fuerte aplauso. Lunchtime Book Club has been rescheduled for next Wednesday. Also, the bookstore is closed on Monday. Payne's Community to Russia, room 115 today. Karina from the Immigrant Connection will be at the Purdue Extension office every Monday starting next week from 12 to 7 p.m. She will be in one of the empty offices in the main office. Seniors that have not yet ordered their cap and gown have until February 15th. Please see Mrs. Rennick in the office. The cost is $50. Here are five of the best ways to prepare for college brought to you by our on-location crew. Hello, Ms. Hissey. I was here to ask you five best ways to prepare for college. Yeah, I would say the first one is make sure you take your SAT or ACT. It's kind of a national level I set, making sure that you're college ready in reading, writing, and math. Pretty much every college requires it except for Ivy Tech and Vincent's. Um, you, know, you really can't get in without it. The second one, do those campus tours. Juniors get two days of excused absences to go visit colleges. Seniors get another two. It's the best way to figure out if that campus culture is going to be the best thing for you. Um, number three, you know, pay attention to your classes. Figure out what you're passionate about. Even if you're not sure exactly what you want to do, if you understand, hey, I prefer my English classes over my math classes, that gives you a starting point. It gives you a way to figure out if you prefer the soft sciences versus the hard sciences. Number four, figure out how far from home you want to go. Some students, they have younger siblings and nieces and nephews, and they really want more Purdue, IUK, Ivy Tech so they can be home, be around them. Other students, you know, they need that space. They need time to grow independent, and they know if they were right next to their parents, you know, they might not do as much growing up as they want to, so they want to look a few hours away and get that space, have that time to develop. And then last is, you know, is college for you? The way that our society is moving, most jobs require college. Even if college wouldn't necessarily prepare you for that career, if you're in a pool of 10 applicants and five of them have college degrees, that human resources department might just interview those five people. But there are jobs out there that don't require it. Um, for example, a lot of trade jobs only require a year of schooling to get that certification. If you want to be a welder, HVAC, and there's something called supply chain management that's paying crazy well right now because we don't have enough people to do that. And that's just a two-year degree, something that you can get pretty quickly. I'd say those are the main things I'd recommend. All right, those are some great advice. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. <laughs> Juniors and seniors interested in the paid internship who have taken a Project Lead the Way class or maybe advanced manufacturing. The last day to apply is January 29th for the six-week manufacturing summer internship. If you're interested, contact Mr. Blunt or Mr. Smith. 
All the free tickets for the basketball game on Saturday are taken, but there is still room on the fan bus. Be sure to turn in your signed permission slip and $10 for your ticket. The game to the bookstore before noon today. Auditions for the musical Bye Bye Birdie are finishing up today. Please meet in the choir room at 3 o'clock. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Taylor. Now to sports with Maddie. In girls basketball action, JV finished the season with a win over Crawfordsville 31-18. The Sandoval had a team high of 11 and Ingrid Valdez had 8. Varsity lost to Western Boone 62-41. Kimmy Kingma led the team with 19 points. Our last regular season game is at Crawfordsville tonight at 6 p.m. As for the boys' JV, the Dogs lost last night 53-65. The team struggled all night against the defense trap that Crawfordsville ran, as well as keeping them off the offensive boards. JV wrestlers had an outstanding night at Southmont in the JV State Finals. Christian Matias was named JV State Champion at 195 and was also able to get some matches at 220 and placed second in that weight class. Jack Bond placed second and Jose Meza placed third at heavyweight. The boys golf team will have a call out meeting on Friday, January 26th at 8 a.m. for those wishing to participate this spring. The meeting will be in Mr. Rick's room, room 103. Returning players and first-timers should plan to attend. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Some daily announcements. Look, I just want to know, is the past tense of yeet yote? Well, I have a question for you. Can you make y'all are not, are not into yeet? We'll never know. See you on Monday.